everyone welcome to another informative video in today's video we'll be talking about a critical topic that affects so many people around the world and that is dengue fever so in this video we'll cover everything you need to know about dengue fever from its symptoms and transmission to prevention and treatment now first understand what is dengue fever so dengue is a viral infection caused by dengue virus DENV transmitted to humans through the bite of infected mosquitoes so dengue is found in tropical and subtropical climates worldwide mostly in urban and semi urban areas so there are four stereotypes of dengue viruses designated as DENV1 DENV2 DENV3 and DENV4 all are transmitted from human to human through the bite of certain species of aedes mosquitoes so the virus that causes dengue fever are related to those that causes yellow fever and west nile virus infection you can get immunity to a version of dengue virus once you've been infected with it because there are at least four version strains of virus DENV that this is pretty complicated so your immune system has tools it can use it to recognize infections and get better at them fighting them off so as your body fights a virus it looks through its toolbox to find out which tool antibody it has that can destroy that specific threat Now let's understand about its symptoms. So if you develop dengue fever, symptoms usually begin about 4 to 10 days after the initial infection. In many cases, symptoms will be mild. They may be mistaken for symptoms of the flu or other infection. Young children and people who have never experienced infection may have a milder illness than older children and adults. So common symptoms generally last for 2 to 7 days and can include sudden high fever, severe headache, swollen lymph glands, severe joint and muscle pains, skin rash appearing between 2 to 5 days after the initial fever. Now let's talk about diagnosis of dengue fever. Diagnostic testing most state health departments and many commercial laboratories perform dengue diagnostic testing. So number one test is nucleic acid amplification test also known as NAATS. So for patients with suspected dengue virus disease this test is preferred method of laboratory diagnosis. This test should be performed on serum specimens collected 7 days or less after symptom onset. Laboratory confirmation can be made from a single acute phase serum specimen obtained early in the illness by detecting viral genomic sequence genomic sequence with rrt dash pcr or dengue non structural protein 1 antigen by immuno assay so presence of virus by rrt dash pcr or ns1 antigen is a single diagnostic specimen and is considered laboratory confirmation of dengue in patients with a compatible clinical and travel history number 2 comes serologic test Now IgM antibody testing they can identify additional infections and is an important diagnostic tool however interpreting the result is complicated by cross reactivity with other flaviviruses like zika and determining the specific timing of infection can be difficult so later in illness IgM and against dengue virus can be detected with MAC E L I S A for patients presenting during the first week after fever onset diagnostic testing should include a test for dengue virus RRT dash PCR or NS1 and IgM for patients presenting one week after fever onset IgM detection is most useful although NS1 has been reported positive up to 12 days after fever onset IgM in a single serum sample strongly suggests a recent dengue virus infection 
and should be presumed confirmatory for dengue if the infection occurred in a place where other potentially cross-reactive flaviviruses are not at risk. So till now I have given you a brief description about dengue fever, its symptoms, diagnosis, treatment. Now let's come to the most important topic and that is prevention. So now let me introduce you to eight preventive measures for dengue that are simple and effective. Number one is reduce mosquito habitat. The mosquitoes which breed dengue thrive in stagnant water containing objects like tires, plastic covers, flower pots, pets water bowls, etc. So reducing the habitat available for these mosquitoes by getting rid of stagnant water to breed can help prevent dengue. Number two is stay in well-screened houses. Ensure that windows are closed properly or the door screens do not contain any holes. This would eliminate chances of any mosquitoes entering the house. Mosquitoes responsible for spreading vector-borne diseases are most active between the time period dawn to dusk. Keep all your windows and shutters closed during this time. Number third is use mosquito repellents. So using mosquito repellents, especially in tropical areas with high populations and crowds, can help repel mosquitoes from biting you. Apply mosquito repellent creams on your body when traveling to tropical destinations and even when you are indoors. For children or infants, you can purchase mosquito patches, mosquito bands and mosquito wipes that are sold by reputed skincare brands in our country. Number fourth is wear protective clothing. In order to avoid being bitten by mosquitoes, one can go for long sleeve clothes and full pants with socks and covered shoes. It is advisable to go for this kind of protective clothing specifically in dengue infested areas. Number fifth, sleep under mosquito net. So sleeping under the mosquito net, it can provide you and your children a double layer of protection from being bitten by the mosquitoes. Number six, do not let water stagnate anywhere. Stagnant water that has not been emptied out leads to mosquito breeding. Empty out flower pots, clean and change water bowls of your pet, refrain from keeping any water plant in your household, Check to see if septic tanks, water pipes are in perfect order and keep covered any vessel or drum that is specifically used to store water. Number seven is keep your house airy and well lit. Mosquitoes are commonly frequent dark and damp places. To prevent mosquitoes from entering your room or house, make sure it is filled with sunlight. Additionally, on alternate days, you can light camphor for about 30 minutes in your room as it has the ability to kill all kinds of pests. Number eight and last is time your outings. It is not necessary that you will catch dengue fever in your home only. It can even happen during your camping trip on a humid day or when you are out for a walk in the woods on a rainy day. Time your trips depending on weather and take all mosquito repellents arsenal with you starting from creams to netted sleeping bags and so on. So to conclude, I hope you found this video not only informative but also empowering. Dengue fever is a, stat is a significant global health concern with millions of cases reported annually leading to a substantial economic and healthcare burden especially in endemic regions. So if you found this video helpful, please do share it with someone who may benefit from this knowledge. Let's spread awareness and make a difference together. Thank you for joining us in a mission to raise awareness about dengue fever. Together we can make difference, stay safe and stay healthy. And if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Nick Neha Vlogs. Thank you.